These are the 1960s um, alligator skins that I've been working on the last few days. Um, in fact, it's been about a week or so. There's been several films. And um, what I did yesterday, um, I've moisturised. Um, they're not fully moisturised yet. I've started the process, but um, I filmed that yesterday and showed you how to do it. Um, there was a very severe crack here, if you've not seen the, the previous film, so the skin was split completely. And that was repaired from behind, and that was in the, a couple of the previous films too. Um, what I'm going to be concentrating on today is actually the, the welting. If I sort of focus a little bit more, there's a bit of a glare from the LED lights. I'm actually filming um, not in ideal conditions. It's very early in the morning, it's dark outside. Ideally, the sun would be shining through the windows behind me, but it's too early. Um, so we're having to make do with LED lights here, so sorry about the glare. Um, the edge of the weltings, it's very scruffy, um, it's a little bit sort of, if, it's a little bit sort of flared out, the bottom through where it's, it's, it's flared out, it's created like a burr, slightly crushed, and the heel as well, it's just very scabby, um, sort of scuff marks, there's a lot of polish, um, I want to get that off, and um, it's very easy, I've already done it on the other shoe, um, it only took me about uh, 10 or 15 minutes, if, oh, it's very, yeah, let's try and angle it so it's not getting the glare from the LED. Um, you can see the, the heel in particular and the, the edge is, is, is very light um, compared, with the, uh, compared with the other one, which is, is rather dark around the edges. And this one's already been sanded. It's, gosh, this, the glare from this LED is a bit of a nuisance, but I'll have to continue. Um, so I've gone all the way around. I'm just taking all of the um, all of the old polish, all of the old sort of scuffs and scratches, made it reasonably smooth. And um, I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing the same. I won't do the whole thing. It will take me ten or fifteen minutes. I'll just do a little bit to show you, give you a, give you a sense of what's involved. And I'll put on these these gloves are a bit uh, a bit stained from uh, the moisturiser yesterday, but they'll do. Um, I don't particularly want to be scratching my skin, getting my hands dirty. I've got to work in the next half an hour, so I don't really want to be. Uh, Get my hands dirty or scratched, so let's put these old gloves on. Moreover, I don't actually like the feel of the, um, of the abrasive paper. I'll pop a tile on myself. Which one? This one. And so this is what I'm using. It's, um, that's 120 grit. Um, in fact, yeah, I'll, I'll tear a new piece. And, um, it's, it's a very simple, very easy process. It looks a bit brutal, but um, it's, uh, it's not a problem. So I'm just going to fold the fold the paper to give myself a really a really clean edge. I'll need two hands for that. It's very important as you're doing this not to touch the alligator skin, or if it's whatever skin it is, you don't want to be touching this. This paper is far too abrasive. So I'm going to be laying the paper. I'm, I'm holding it between finger and thumb, and I'm laying it on the on the very edge, not so high as that it can touch the uh, the alligator. So it will be a couple of millimeters away, and I'm just going to sand it, that's it. Now it clogs very quickly so I'll turn the paper over just within a few seconds the old polish and whatever's on there clogs the paper very very quickly. And uh, Just give that a quick brush, get the dust out. I need another bit of the paper. So it's just a, just a case of being patient and working all the way around. It will take 10 or 15 minutes um, to do a sharp cut which is this one with the 120 grit then a much finer cut. I think I've got 320 crit behind me. I'll show you in a minute. But um, it's, it's, it's an easy enough job. And let's just do a little bit on the heel. The heel's often got far more polish on. To be very, very careful not to go too high and touch the, uh, the actual sh the, uh, the shoe skin itself. They're much more delicate. This is very, very hard leather. It can take quite a lot of abuse. And all I'm trying to do is get it smooth. So that's just a couple of very small areas. And let me go for a bit of the finer paper now. Let's do a, a slightly finer cut. I'm not going to boil the tears doing the whole shoe. There's no, no point in, uh, in filming the whole thing. It's a repetitive process. So it's just, uh, I think that's 320. Yes, it is. So this is just a finer paper. And it gives a very nice, um, smooth, polish and scratch-free sort of surface. Just um, makes the whole shoe far more presentable. And let's do this bit as well. There we go. Nothing more to it than this. But uh, scuffed and scruffy and scratched, clogged up with uh, polishes and waxes, heels and welts do look dreadful. Now, 
I often um, sand bottoms as well, um, not to not so much to make them smooth, but the when when they, when it becomes very dry, you get like if I can get this close enough, you can see it's starting to starting to crack just here. It's just surface cracking. It's very hard and flaky, and um, it'll left left untreated, that will get worse. It'll get deeper and deeper. So all I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to sort of um, deglaze the sole, so to speak. It's got like a it's got a shiny glaze on it. And I could put moisturiser on that and it would sort of rub off this sort of shiny glaze. I don't know what it is. It, it's been ground into the pavement. It'll be tars and oils and grease and whatever, diesel, petrol. There'll be all sorts on the pavements and the roads that leaves a film on here. And it kind of goes hard. So I'm just going to just give it a quick scratch and take off the very worst. I'm you know, just taking off the dead flaky, the dead flaky surface, that's all. Just a tiny bit. I'm not trying to cut deep to make this sole thinner. I just want to deglaze it and take away the scratchy, the scratchy surface. I'll do it quickly on camera. I would probably spend five minutes doing that and do a better job, obviously, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what's involved. And then once again, just go over it with the finer one. Just I do the heel as well. And then heels get like a little bit of a, we'll get it into the camera here, you get a little bit of a burr where it curls over. So, um, it doesn't so much happen on this edge, but it does happen there. In fact, we have got it there. If I bring it closer, you can see it's curled over. So I can just cut that off. If I hold it correct, I'm going to be able to see that. It's all these, these are just minor details. They might seem unnecessary. They are unnecessary, but it just, it's all about presentation. It's an old shoe. Now, this shoe has already had its sole sanded. And it's, it's quite smooth. The, 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 the sort of shiny, oily glaze is gone. The worst of the cracking is gone. And um, where are we? Yes, this is definitely the one. I wanted to show you uh, how I'm going to be finishing the... Um, bear in mind, this one was already sanded smooth yesterday. And I'm just going to be using exactly the same um, leather cream, um, coloured leather cream on the cloth as what I've moisturised the, uh, the rest of the alligator skins with. You tend to be a little bit more liberal and then I was, I was insisting to be very sparing with the cream on the alligator, but on the, um, on the welting leather and on the heels, you're a lot more liberal. So you literally just paint it on. And quite thick, rub it hard, try and, try and get it going. I also wanted to go deeply into the, into the welting, down into the stitching, and all over the heel. There we go. That's it. So... And that's it really. Um, you just get a nice, uh, a nicer finish. And you know, I'll spend 10 minutes or so just, um, just going around, rubbing this in, and then using the, uh, using the brush to work it down into the, into the stitching. And then um, when, I'm, when I'm happy that the, uh, the edges of the welting are completely covered, well moisturized, the, the, the product does sink in deep, deeply, so the more you rub it, it sinks in a millimetre or so, and you get a deeper sort of luster and shine to the edge. I'm not a fan of these um, heel, uh, heel edgings and, and, well, and, and, and edging, uh, but they're like, I find them like, a, you, you paint them on, they're very, very shiny, very glitzy. I find them too shiny personally. It's a little bit like nail varnish, and it chips and scratches. My personal preference is to finish with a, um, with a, with a, with a, with a leather cream. Um, so once I'm happy that these edges are well, well, well colored, well moisturized, I'll then do more in much lighter coats on the alligator skin. And they do need a few more coats. And what I'll do, I'll bring these back after the weekend when they're fully moisturized and fully colored, and I will buff them up. Let me just take one of my other colors because I want to pop a little bit of this on the, um, on the sole. Partly for cosmetic reasons, and partly because it's it's actually very dry, um, it's just 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 uh, just leather cream, and uh, so this will soften, and it will uh, it will moisturise, and it will it will, it will recolour the soles. Um, it's it's quite nice to have nice soles too. The soles it's only leather, it's only skin. It will degrade, it will split, it will crack, but um, particularly in this area here. You won't stop it from wearing into the pavement. This won't protect it from wear. What it will do, it will, it will just help to reduce the cracking from dryness. So um, I, I, I always do the soles and I always do the heels as well. It's only leather. Yes, this is just leather. 
So it'll take a few minutes to do both shoes, work this in. And I apply it quite heavily. And you can leave quite a thick coating uh, on, on a leather sole and allow it to sink in overnight. And largely it will sink in. Um, it, it, unlike alligator, you, I explained yesterday on the other film, you can't do that to alligator. It, it congeals, it, it, the, the, the product congeals in the, um, in the, it, between the scales, in all of the crinkly skin between the scales. You definitely can't put heavy, heavy loads on, this, on the alligator, but you can put a heavier load and um, leave it to sink in. But um, this looks a bit wet and a bit greasy, but you'll be surprised when I um, bring this back after the weekend, I'll have re-moisturised probably another half a dozen times, worked into the welting, really sort of stirred, stirred all the excesses in, and um, I'll have, I'll have moisturised the soles. And all I'll need to do is put in new laces and I'll be buffing these uh, shoes. They look a bit, they still look a bit, a bit sorry now because they're, they're so dull and matte, but they've got, they're covered in unbuffed moisturiser. Um, but we'll stop here. I don't want to uh, don't want to waffle on too much. I try to keep them reasonably short, these films. So I'll come back and I'll completely finish this shoe um, with, with the buffing in a few days' time.